hey there. Is your computer fan running all the time, even if it is quietly and not so loud, it's just a little quiet, and you want to fix that because you want it to be like the Mac where it's quiet? So let's, let, let's begin. So if you want to make your computer, your PC fan, your Windows computer fan, turn off like a Mac where it's not running constantly, then you should follow these steps. Because I've seen some people say that they have a problem because with Windows computers, I've seen like a person review a Windows computer and he said, and he was like a tech, a tech person, and he said, oh, the Windows computer fan, he, he, oh, this is, this is the fate of the Windows computers. The fan's gonna be loud all the time. And I'm just thinking to myself, no, there's a way to turn that off. So I commented, I didn't comment on it, I should probably find that video and comment on it. But anyway, the option may be a little different on each computer, but you should follow these steps. So, this won't hurt your computer at all, as I have done this, I have done this already to my computer, and all it does is it turns off the, co the computer's fan when it doesn't need it. Like, if you're typing a Word document and you're in class, and you don't need it to be loud, you just have a Word document you need to type, or you're just, use, or it's just idling and just sitting there on the desktop where you're listening to someone speak, and you're waiting to be able to open up the Word document and take a note. So here is how to do it. It runs at like, my computer runs at 40 degrees Celsius, and if it kicks on when it needs to kick on, like if I'm editing a video file, the fan will kick on to the speed that it ran at before I turned off this option, so the fan isn't broken at all, didn't do anything to the fan. All it does now is the sensor, instead of it just being on constantly where it's running all the time, and the sensor isn't doing any, and the sensor wasn't really doing much, it was just sensing how fast it needed to run, it wasn't sensing to turn on or off. Now the sensor inside that senses when the fan's supposed to turn on or off is working 100%. And I also thought that my computer was broken just because the fan always ran constantly, and I was wondering why, but now I fixed it, and I feel like I want to share it all with you, so let's get into where you need to go into the computer. So, let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is turn on your computer. The fan's going to be running when it turns on. You press... Whoa, whoa. Okay, I need to shut down the computer again. But basically, um, you turn on the... Okay, so basically you do, you turn on the computer, you go into the BIOS. So whatever option it is to get into the BIOS. And then from there you want to find an option called Fan Always On. Once you find that option, you're going to make sure that it is disabled and what it does is it sets the fan always on so what you do is when you disable it the fan will the internal uh, sensor will kick in to turn on the fan or off the fan when it doesn't need it so if your computer is running at 40 degrees it's not going to need it because it's not going to be hot you're going to running at 38 maybe the, C T P the GPU temperature is going down or the CPU temperature is going down but in this case, they when you when you're looking at like a graph or something, it's called the GPU temperature. So you want to do that. I already have it off, so I'm just going to escape and I'm going to do this. And then it starts up. Since I installed that SSD, it's running a lot faster. So it starts up. Um, password. Whoops. Okay, so I typed in my password there. And I'm just going to wait a couple seconds because it should it, it should take a couple seconds sometimes for it to do that. But this is good for, as I said before, class. So if you do have like an issue during class, which I did, I was wondering, is my computer broken? Like I, I, I didn't know. So I went and I finally found this. And I always used to just put my computer to sleep when I was listening to the professor. I'd close the lid. It would turn. It would put go to sleep, and then it would open it to come back to the word document I needed. And then I was like, is it broken? And I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe it isn't broken because, I mean, my old laptop did this. 
And I was just wondering, so maybe maybe it's just not broken. Maybe it's not broken. Maybe there's the thing in the BIOS that's making it run twenty four seven. So I am going to show you Task Manager. So if we look here, the CPU isn't being used that much. The memory. Um, isn't isn't being used that much. The disk isn't being used that much, and the Wi-Fi isn't being used that much. So the CPU is extremely low. Memory is at the speed it's going to stay at. The disk is very low. Now that we have that, now listen to this. Here's the fan. Now listen. You don't hear anything from the fan because there's nothing going on. So, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to run a program. Um, if you want this program, linked in the description, comment down below. But we're going to run it open hardware monitor. And what this does is it tells you the core temperatures of your PC. So, over here, if we run it. We see that the GPU temperature is at 37 degrees. The computer's fan is still isn't running. It's going down 36. 37. It's just going staying at 36, 37. It says that the max is 41, but it can go up to 70 degrees Celsius. Still not running. So I'm saying this all in Celsius just because every person you see online is going to rate all this in Celsius. That's just how how it works. So, if you really want to know, um, uh, show hidden sensors. So there's no really hidden sensors here. Um, temperature unit. I'm gonna change it to Fahrenheit just so you can see. So 96.5 Fahrenheit. That seems like it's pretty hot, but when you think about it, it's actually pretty low. Where it's probably not even all the way up, which is why Celsius is the way to go. So, 37 degrees Celsius, max 41 degrees. Um, all this stuff is running at normal speed, even with the fan off. Like, the fan's not going not gonna to hurt anything. So, let's turn off um, all the sensors, hardware, mainboard, file, hardware, RAM. So, <clears throat> here we go. We got what we needed. It's running at 35 degrees. It's going down from there. So, it is a, um, and then the, 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 the laptop's, uh, whatever you want to call it, the laptop's fan still isn't running. So, if you're typing a document up and you're doing this for class or something and you just want to, so I'm going to exit out all this. Make sure the only thing running is that McAfee. So, I feel that the battery was wasted a tiny bit. So, if you open up Word, you can type a document where... Here's the fan. You can't hear it. Um... Please So, this really is a light load. The fan's still not running. So, and also I can feel it. It doesn't feel that hot. It doesn't feel, it feels like it's probably still like 30, uh, 35 uh, Celsius and everything. So, that was really just the video for it. And if you really did find this um, entertaining, please write, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And just, just, just to tell you again,
this will not hurt your computer. It does not mean anything's wrong. It just means that the sensors inside are working 100%. They're kicking in. They're working when you need them. So if you're going to edit a video on one of these types of com on a, la a laptop, the fan will kick on to the full potential like it does for me. Because I made sure to test that. I made sure to go turn it on right away, test out an old render, make sure it was rendering correctly. And then I... And then... If you're going to be doing some typing, it won't go too bad. If you're doing internet and it needs to kick in because it's getting a tiny bit hotter than normal, then it'll work. So if you did like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day and make sure to hit that bell.